The first we start out with a okay. stupid selfie. Don't be sexy, beguiling, or anything. It's stupid. Like okay. The okay. dumbest face you can make. The dumbest face I can make. Going for it. That's my dumb face. Oh, good. We we matched. <laughs> That was weird. We did kind of match. Yeah. That's my first ever uh, same stupid. We should do rock paper scissors. We do. We we tie every time. Right. We would tie every time. <laughs> When's the last time you had to do a virtual a rock paper scissors to get your win? To get what I want? Yeah. To Rochambeau somebody for what I want. Um, Rochambeau, right? Yeah, yeah. Should we rock paper scissors for who's gonna talk sure, first? Sure. Sure. Who gets to ask first question? Right. Rock paper scissors. Oh. You oh. Get it. Yeah, I do. It's your show. Yeah, it's my show. I Here it, it is. To you. Hollywood is a place of myth and legend and lore, mm. and the legend that I seem to read about you again and again is that you're like a reluctant celebrity. So I think to myself, what's not to like? Like, you have people being really nice to you, you have a, you're healthy, you get to do a job you love. So am I reading it improperly when I hear that you're reluctant? Because you don't seem reluctant. Well, I'm less reluctant these days because I'm, I'm older, but when I was younger and I was trying to figure out who I was, I was in my mid-20s, I didn't really want to do that under the microscope of the press, you know? It's interesting to have been through that and to kind of come out the other end and, and feel intact. And it's purely because I had good people around me. I've, I've been lucky enough to have a good family and good friends who have kept me grounded. A few years down the road from now, what would you be saying about your life at this time? Uh, God, I was full of shit back then. You full know of I mean? <laughs> In your earlier days, mm -hmm. you also did a bunch of films. Mm -hmm. Black Dahlia, Black mm -hmm. Hawk Down, mm -hmm. 40 Days and 40 Nights, 30 Days and a Night. 30 Days of Night. 30 Days of Night. And now, you're a werewolf. I, well, in my spare time. I never keep a lady waiting. Are you aware what when you make... become a werewolf? Are you aware you're a He's werewolf? He's an unaware wolf. He's an unaware wolf. Yeah, he's, he's not sure what he is, actually, at the beginning of the season. He How just knows that he has blackouts. Well, and that's he knows called he kills drinking people. too much. That's yeah, called but you homicide. Don't always, yeah, you don't always, you're not always homicidal when you black out when you drink. So what is it a werewolf does do? What is it that you do do? He's not a werewolf in the sense that I think we've seen before. It's more allegory than it is, you know, we're not, we're not trying to get into, like, we're not trying to beat anybody in in the sort of genre games. It has to be scary, it has to be creepy, but it's more psychologically scary than it is, you know, bumps in the night. What's up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is how it goes. Yeah. This is how it this goes, is, totally. Cool. Um, yeah, no, it's a really... Uh, hey, how are you doing? Um, yeah, this show is unlike anything else out there, I think. I mean, but I don't watch a lot of, I don't watch a lot of TV, so this is hey, my... you watch TV? Yeah, he's on um, Penny Dreadful. This is embarrassing. Yeah, right. <laughs> they don't care. Like they're acting cool. Yeah, is that they're it? Acting yeah, cool. sure. I can't think of anything scarier than realizing you're this Other. demon, you're a werewolf, mm -hmm. you're something you cannot control. Actually, come to think of it, <clears throat> that's happened to me a few times. Mm -hmm. I've gotten out of control and I see, boy, you're out of control. Right. What in your life makes you feel slightly unnerved or out of control? I think the biggest thing for me is to not just be a contrarian. Because my 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 initial instinct when people tell me to do something is to do the opposite. No, it's not. Exactly. I'm, I've always been kind of stuck in this position where I'm doubting whether or not I'm doing it because someone told me I shouldn't or if I'm doing it because I actually want to. And that's, that's a huge, huge part of my life is making sure that I'm keeping that under control. That's a fascinating realization. Yeah. I have a, something similar, right? Like, do you ever get halfway through a fight and you're like, I really don't care. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. Oh, but, then, but then you see it to the finish because you're already because five rounds in. you can't let them win. No, yeah. no, yeah. why would we let them win? Yeah. Right, just stop bringing with me. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> Maybe we can get group therapy rates. Sure, who else are we bringing in? I think there's probably a lot of angry yeah. people in this five block radius in Brooklyn, yeah, don't you probably, think? Probably, probably. Maybe a few working on the show right now. Maybe are you guys angry? Not a single person Mad got as it. Hell. Not a single yeah. person. Yeah, they're not going to take it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Dreadful, not dreadful. I think the stuff you're making is very enjoyable. Thank you. May you live long and prosper. And may in 10 years we come back and look at this interview together and be like, we're so much better now. Yeah, yeah, These yeah, two yeah. guys are idiots. Yeah, yeah, let's but do now it. now we're really good. Cheers. Cheers. Mazel tov.